Uh, Simon, I think everyone knew the importance of the match tonight, given that how disappointed are you with what was on show? Um, well, disappointing is an understatement, really. I mean, like I said, we have plenty to play for tonight. You know, obviously our position on the table, um, Jez is 300th. Um, plenty to play for. I thought one team, one team played like they were fighting for survival, and the other one didn't. And um, that's disappointing, and um, you know, it's embarrassing. Um, and it's not acceptable. It's just not acceptable. And, you know, I thought the first 10, 15 minutes, you know, the game was developing into an arm wrestle and then, you know, Cuppertson makes a break straight through our middle and um, and that was it for us. That was it for us for the, for the half. You know, they scored four tries, um, four relatively easy tries. And when we get up the other end, we, we don't look like scoring one. And um, so while it was... Defensively was was a real issue for us. I thought, you know, we had we had quite a bit of possession down there end in the first half, but um, we just lacked any real spark and we didn't look like scoring. And, and the longer the game went on, the more confident they got with their goal line D. And you know, a couple of times we we threatened to score in the second half, but they just they just kept turning up for each other league and um, we weren't prepared to do that tonight, which is um, which is which is very very disappointing. Is that more disappointing than the? The actual scoreline itself, the fact that you know you're questioning whether they wanted it as much as the Leeds player looked like they were as much. Yeah, look, look, you can just you can tell by the actions of the two teams who wanted it more. I mean, we're at home, coming off coming off a, a relatively good performance against Hull KR. Um, we had we had just as much to play for, if not more. We were at home. We had Jesus three hundred, and um, we had real opportunity tonight, but um, that we just didn't play like the team. That wanted it enough, and um, we've got to ask ourselves some questions as to why. But um, um, it's um, disappointing, and it's you know, I apologise to our sponsors and our fans for what we dished up tonight. I mean, I know I certainly know I won't sleep tonight. And I, I hope there's 17 plays in there that won't either. So um, it's just not good enough. As you mentioned, you had a number of sets early on. I mean, you'd, you'd forced the repeats, you'd won a penalty, you got yourself down there, but you never really threw much at them. Why do you think the players were did that? I think our halves, you know, everything they did was telegraphed. I think, you know, they didn't get their eyes up and play. You know, we had a bit of a plan there, and um, you know, because you know, we knew who we were passing the ball to before we even caught it. It was just we just we just didn't ask any questions of. of their D and they handled us comfortably. Um, we didn't dig into the line. Um, like I said, we didn't have real any real spark with our attack, and um, you know we were just easy. We were just easy pickings for Leeds. What did the players have to say after the game? Oh, yeah, they're saying all the right things, but um, you know it's just it's tough. We can't get that one back, and that was that was a performance that we all should be really, really embarrassed about, you know, coaches, players, everybody involved the club and, and we should be embarrassed, we should be embarrassed and and um, again, I, I apologise to the people that come out and support us, it's just not good enough with what was on the line tonight to come up with that sort of scoreline, I mean, you know, it's not as if, you know, with all due respect to Leeds, it's you know, not as if we are playing St Helens and, you know, you know, we're playing a team that we're, we're pretty much level peggings with and we, we we're on the back end of a 40 odd to nil scoreline. I mean, you know, that's not about skill or personnel. That's about that's about uh, mindset and about attitude. And um, and they're far better than us in that tonight. Given the timing of the season, given the nature of the result, the magnitude of the result, how would you go about picking the pieces up and getting yourself ready for next week? Well, well, that's the thing. You know, a game like that, you know, it'd be easy to spend hours reviewing it. But what's that going to do for the team? I mean. You know, a lot of it's going to be effort-based stuff, so um, we need to, you know, we need to move on pretty quickly from that. I think um, we got a longer turnaround this week, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing after after a result like that. But we'll use the time wisely. We get an extra day on the on the on the training paddock this week, and um, we just need to make sure we get the week right, so we give ourselves every chance. How's Aaron Murphy? Yeah, well, he's in a boot at the moment. I don't think it's going to be. Great news for Murph. I think he heard a pop or something in his in his ankle. So I guess 
we'll get scanned up on Monday. You know, Matty English, he, he had a tight adductor in the first half and, you know, we, we put him back on, you know, he trooped on for us, Matty. But um, I think I think Murph's, you know, Jake Wardle went down midway through the second half. He seemed to get up and get through the game. So um, hopefully hopefully Murph's the only only issue for us after tonight. We'll get Joe Wardle back next week. So, um, you know, we'll... Um, We'll see. We'll see how we go in the next few days. Any other questions?